Aloha. This is Sky with FNN, Feminist News Network, the feminist news that you can use. Coming at you today in the Rainbow Room at night. All right. And I would like to talk to you today about who? Janet Jackson. And what? The new Huffington Post article that's out there talking about Les Moonves being obsessed with Janet Jackson's career and how sources say he tried to ruin her career for over a year by stopping all her videos and destroying her album Demita Joe after Nibblegate. Hmm. Nibblegate wasn't even an issue. She was wearing a pasty and her going through that uh, over him uh, getting upset about a fine and her not properly uh, apologizing, you know, she shouldn't have to. It was what it was, a half a second. A half a second. Exactly. The Huffington Post article that came out September the 6th by your sure Ali. It was the exclusive Les Moonves was obsessed with ruining Janet Jackson's career. What was going on with that? For a year he was trying to put her down and ruin the sales of Demita Joe. Which, Island Life was marvelous. I love that song. Hey, I didn't know her career was going bad. She has over 10 number one hits. She is doing over 35 million in views on this latest that she has made for now with da uh, Daddy Yankee. So, uh, I don't see nothing wrong, but I do see a guy obsessed that has gotten kicked off of CBS and now they're giving him a, over a hundred million to say goodbye even though he's lied and lied and done wrong <laughs> and Janet just keeps singing her song honey she is fabulous child you know she's my age alright <laughs> yeah but anyway baby and all she has overcame. And is this an opportunity to, for her to sue? Is she the kind to sue? Maybe to make a point because she surely doesn't need the money. Mm -hmm. And as a woman that cares enough, because you know, even when she was married to this latest husband, she would see children and visit uh, war-torn areas. And she has even been to Palestine. So, you know, she, she's a giving woman. Janet is a beautiful mother. But to be hated on this way, all this shows is what I keep saying about the degradation of black women. You know, to have a vendetta against Janet Jackson, and I'm quite sure there was more. But the hate, like the hate on Serena, the hate on young girls. What I want to say is, I'm quite sure Janet is going to overcome this. But to find out something that she probably already knew, ain't nothing new. She knew it from the time that it happened because... You know, she didn't say the same apology that Timberlake said. And she wasn't going to. And she shouldn't. She shouldn't. Her career moved on. She was still able to do her book. She was still able to marry. She was still able to put out a Best Of album and do well. 
and she is going to keep doing well like she is doing well now with her uh, new single that she's been doing and been on Jimmy Fallon and all these other shows singing with uh, Daddy Yankee Made For You doing 35 million views girl it had me dancing yeah and you know she's always rocking the hair and doing the wear mm -hmm. yeah but for a woman that's the same age as me all right hang in there girl yeah um i feel she can hang in there and overcome this will she sue or not i don't know i don't know that's left up to her. If she does it, she does it to prove a point. Not to escalate a situation that is hashtag Me Too. Because the Me Too movement is something that's serious. And she can join it and give support to the others that would benefit from a lawsuit. But uh, her need one herself, she's got enough money. If she does it, it's to prove a point. Believe that. Alright. So, if you're familiar with this Huffington Post article, alright. But if not, I'm going to supply you with the link. It's going to be below. So, check it out. And, um, I appreciate your time. I appreciate your watching, and yeah, we're going to do more uh, entertainment information like this because, you know, this black girl magic is everywhere, and we're going to make it because with women like Janet, Serena, and others that are keeping the activism alive, and now that we know the less moon vases of the world cannot hide. It's time for a new day. The black magic way. All right. Yeah, let's, uh, you know, let's keep ourselves aware. Hashtag me too out there. Um, of what's going on. So we can put it into all this degradation. Like. Les Moonves and Weinstein and these others are uh, going through. Let's remember not just the hashtag Me Too celebrities, but the hashtag Me Too working class that are on the lower level jobs dealing with uh, asshole landlords, asshole uh, supervisors that are, you know, putting them through it. And all they want to do is work and provide for their own. You know. So let's not forget about that. And I'm quite sure now that Janet knows this. Uh, she'll ha quite sure have something to say. And as soon as she puts word out on this issue and topic. We're going to bring it to you. Here at FNN. And if you appreciate this show like many others. Contact me at feministnewsin at gmail.com don't forget to like my facebook page and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and ring the bell yeah i appreciate you watching thanks for joining peace all right